Okay. All right. Um, cool. And we're still recording. That's great. Hi, my name's Nick. Uh, you're watching Laser Booms. And this is a hobby channel where we do hobby stuff and talk about Warhammer primarily. But um, let's get into it. Okay, so today um, I kind of want to talk about the Scout Sentinel and Armored Sentinel. Um, these are two variants of the Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum's Sentinel thing. Um, so what they are is like light walkers. They're the ATAT -AT of Warhammer, kind of. Um, and I love them. They're really cool. Um, I hated them at first because I thought they were really cheap ATAT -AT, like kind of ripoffs. But I've since decided I actually kind of love them. Um, so what I want to discuss is uh, the issue with running an entire army of them because I've kind of fallen in love with them. <laughs> um, I would really like to be able to form a unit of like a like a vanguard, like a vanguard detachment for ninth edition with just scout sentinels or armored sentinels. Um, armored, of course, being heavy supported, scout being, of course, fast attack, I think. Um, but the rules just aren't there for it yet. But I want to kind of discuss why I think it'd be really cool if the rules were there for it. Um, so I play primarily Imperial Guard. I've delved into some other armies because you can't just play Imperial Guard. I mean, you can, Morty, and you can. You can do it. So I'm trying not to get overexcited about Sentinels right now. Um, there are other things in play. There's, of course, the new medium battle tank, rumored. The Rogal Dorn battle tank. And I've never been a huge fan of Lehman Russes either, to be honest with you. Um, I'm a, like a lot of Imperial Guard players. I've been interested in history in the past and um, and tanks and stuff like that uh, when I was younger. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't pass up a nice, uh, nice tank video to this day. Chieftain, where you at? I do appreciate the Imperial Guard's uh, lore and strategies and like things like that. I think they're really neat and actually really thematic. Um, when you read the books, things like Gaunt's Ghosts, things like... Um, any other Imperial Guard book, anything by Steve Lyons, um, a lot of Dan Abnett stuff mentions the Guard. I'm reading Eisenhorn right now, and that's a great book. Um, would really recommend it if anyone wants a fun kind of James Bondy. I don't like Inquisitors. I wasn't going to read it, but um, Eisenhorn's great. Dan Abnett's great. Um, the Imperial Guard show up in a lot of places, and I think they're really cool, and I think they appeal to a historical slanted gamer i don't really have much interest in playing a historical game like that i'll play an rts once in a while like company of heroes but i'm not as interested in recreating battles like that in a strategy game especially among friends um this is not for me warhammer is what we got and imperial guard's a really good fit for anyone who's into like world war ii stuff or world war one stuff or napoleonic stuff honestly first rank second rank pretty uh Covers all the bases, if you know what I mean. They, were, they knew what they were doing. Okay. Um, but I would love to see some more, uh, some Sentinels. And this whole line of thinking comes from a book called Firecast by, I'm going to mispronounce his last name, Peter Fahavari. Um, Peter Fahavari, and that's the last time I'll say it to avoid embarrassing myself much more, is an incredible author. I really have enjoyed his books. Um, he got me into Sisters of Battle. Um, which I now play as my, okay, I'm going to take this a little bit more serious. This isn't like a fluff list. This is like me, my Paragon War suits. We're going to do the best we can. Um, his book, um, Requiem Infernal. Um, got it. I think I got it. I think, it, yeah. Did I do it? Um, I am was really stoked about that book and I really enjoyed it. But he wrote another book called Firecast. And Firecast is one of the preeminent Imperial Guard slash Tau books. Um, now, I also have a Tau army, and people who are interested in one sometimes, more often than not, are interested in the other. Not all the time, um, but I've noticed a lot of Guard players do have a small Tau contingent or the other way around. Um, part of that is this lust for the Guvesa to get their roles, um, which I would love. They are the Tau Empire's kind of uh, integrated human populations, um, at least in like a military sense. So what they are supposed to be is basically um, Imperial Guard, and they do show up in a couple places in the lore. Um, they're kind of like Brood Brothers, if that makes sense. You take Gene Steel Cult Brood Brothers, you put them in the Tau Empire, and you've got Guvesa. Um, you could probably do a uh, crusade like that, honestly. You just take those rules, you move them over. Um, which is, uh, by extension, just taking Imperial Guard, Cadian Shock Troops, moving them into Tau, just with a middle step, 
but that is a middle step. Someone's already taken GW. Where am I, Guvesa? If you read Firecast, it involves a lot of the Tau Empire and Imperial Guard. I'll say that. I don't want to spoil it. It's a good book. I think you should read it. Uh, Peter Varavari, I did it again. Um, never going to get it right. Uh, is one of those authors that integrates their their own works, their stories, into like a, a lore of its own. So um, this isn't a big spoiler. Um, Firecast actually involves um, a regiment of Peter's own creation um, called the Arcan Confederates. And I really liked that regiment. I thought it was cool. It had a lot of flavor. There's a lot of flavor in the book. You should read it and find out what I'm talking about. But part of it is that there is a, um, a group of Sentinels, a company, if I remember correctly, and a company commander is part of that. And you might remember Company Commander as being part of the rules for 40k if you play Imperial Guard. So what we have in Firecast, the book, is a company strength of Sentinels, let's say about 9, I'm guessing, in theory. If I reread the book, it's probably closer to something like 15. Between 9 and 15 is a fine number. Um, so it's not insane that someone could take 15 Sentinels in a game of 40k. It's silly. It's totally silly. It's a skew list. Um, they do have a lot of weapon options that makes them very versatile, and they come of one or two flavors. And I argue they should come in a third flavor, okay? Um, I am asking for some kind of HQ for my Sentinel army, please. Um, I can take them with a Krieg squadron, Death Rider squadron guy, but I, 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 want, I want my Sentinel commander. I made my own. Look at it. I love it. Um, I love this little guy. I made him early on. He's one of my first kit, kit bashes. It involves a historical little figure dude up top and uh, you know, regular sentinel on the bottom. Um, I tend to go with the scout sentinel when I'm building a kit because I like the open top because I want to show off my little guys. My little duders. Look at him go. And this guy just represents a regular scout sentinel in my Valhalla's army. I have two guard armies. One is Krieg adjacent. We'll get into that in a later date. And one is Valhallen. Valhallen being, of course, a now discontinued line of models from Games Workshop, which is okay. I understand it. Um, we have to move on from the past. Um, I often commiserate with Games Workshop um, on their reluctance to move on from old models based on nostalgia, and I totally understand. Um, it's hard to let go of uh, models that are older. Um, and there's nothing much to do with them if you can't play with them anymore. So. so to this day, you can still play with a lot of those old Imperial Guard models, but there are no more coming out. But I hope we get some new flavor. Imperial Guard needs a new solid plastic kits. Good flavor. They just got Krieg, but I need heavy weapons teams. I need a whole army. G-dubs, come on. We got stuff to do. Work to do. And my ideas for this... Um, HQ unit would revolve around just basically being a company commander with the stats of a sentinel uh, <laughs> Give orders to sentinels probably something like a tank commander because otherwise it's kind of useless a sentinel doesn't count as infantry um, But I think it'd be fun and skewy. I might just do a crusade where I do this. I think it would be fun um, I like the idea Because it's mine uh, <laughs> You guys should read Firecast, and you might like it too. Um, that book really outlines um, a little bit of what like an armored company, but a scout company, a scout sentinel company might look like. And they have these really cool sentinels they talk about a little bit. Um, by the time you read the book, they have regular sentinel feet, where it's like four toes, flat, blah, blah, blah. Um, but before that starts, they talk about um, back on Arcan, there are some events there that involve sentinels and the Imperial Guard and things like that. Um, and they actually had like hooves, like like horses. I think it's really cool because Arcan is mostly plains. So they're just like running through the running through the plains. Um, and the characters in the book kind of lament this change, and they uh, kind of they understand the need for it because where they are now, it's not so good for the hooves. But I also lament this change. Hooves are cool. Anyway, comment down below if you think GW would be, or Games Workshop would be interested in implementing something like this. I would like it. I think they're beyond doing fluffy things right now. They're focusing a lot on balancing, but I appreciate their balancing work. But I am a fluffy player, and I like to, I like to see my fluffy stuff doing its work.
Like I, I, I don't know. I could go on for days. Um, thank you for watching. Comment down below if you think they'll be interested in doing something like this. Subscribe if you want to see more hobby content. Let me know what you think. Uh, like this video if you want other people to see it and think about the idea of like a scout sentinel, armored sentinel, commander type of deal. Uh, think about the warlord traits. Just think about them. A self-destructing sentinel HQ sounds really interesting. <laughs>